kakaiba ang episode natin ngayon sa ating programa. Bakit? Napakarami kasi sa atin ang interesado pagdating sa kalusugan ng ating katawan. Pampahaba ng buhay, iwas sakit, at paggamot sa may sakit o kaya naman ay pampaganda lang o pampabata, hindi ba? Kaya yung stem cell therapy na pinupuntahan pa dati ng marami tulad ko sa bansang Germany. Ang Villa Medica na siyang nagbibigay ng stem cell therapy sa mundo ngayon ay nasa Pilipinas na. And here we are. Hi, Krista! Hi, Karina! Wow, back. fresh na fresh naman talaga. Yeah. Ayan, si Crystal. Sobrang That's bata na ang itsura niya, di ba? <laughs> so, Crystal, since ayan, Villa Medica <laughs> is now here in Newport World Resorts, ay hindi nyo na kailangan lumipad pa dahil matatagpuan na sa Pilipinas itong stem cell therapy. Right, Crystal? Yes, Karina. And we're so excited that it's finally here. So at least we can uh, let everybody know the wonders of stem cells sa kanilang kalusugan. Yes! Stay tuned! Huwag kayo maalis. Dito lang sa Karina Interviews. Yay! Villa Medica is in the house! Ano ba yun? Ano ba yun? Paano natin pinagkasyang isang buong klinika sa isang maliit na espasyo? Thank you so much! Pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ay kalusugan. Yes! So important. Very important. Importante ang pinag-uusapan. Paano ba yung mga may malubhang sakit? Diba? Ano ang pag-asa? Ano ang latest na teknolohiya na pwede para sa mga may sakit bago lumubha? Habang malubha na, okay. paano ba maiwasan magkasakit at all, right? Correct. At uh, isa pang importante para sa mga babae, paano ba magmukhang bata forever? We like that. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Natotoo lang, si Crystal Jacinto na may-ari ng EW Villa Medica sa Pilipinas ay 85 years old na po yan. <laughs> Ah, oh, di ba? Mukhang 22. Mukha lang akong 34. Especially in person, Karina, you look really? even more younger. Wow, really? thank you. Actually, para lang po malaman ninyo, ang pag-uusapan po natin, stem cell in particular, right? And Villa Medica in the Philippines. Ito po yung gusto ko talagang ipaalam sa inyong lahat dahil po sa ginawa ko rin po ito, many years ago, at kamakailan rediscovered Villa Medica na ngayon ay nasa Pilipinas na. Yeah. At ginawa ko na ulit ang stem cell implantations. Okay, pag-usapan natin ng uh, buhay muna ni Crystal, paano ba nangyari <laughs> na itong napakagandang babaeng ito ang nagbay-ari ng isa sa pinaka sikat at malaking klinika ng stem cell sa buong mundo. CEO, sabi nga nila, CEO, <laughs> babaeng CEO, si Crystal. Oh, that's Crystal. very nice, huh? Yes. Oh, As an influencer. Hello, good morning, it's TikTok. Mom. Sa TikTok ka ba talaga nakilala? <laughs> Not really. Ano naman, oh. it's, it's during pandemic kasi, it was, it started with my daughter, you know, like doing TikToks oh. because wala silang mapuntahan, di ba? They're just there and, you know, like she's just dancing all the time. And I was just making, you know, like parang I really wanted to stalk. Not really stalk, but then, you know, somehow to check on her account. And, you know, like she was just dancing and I love to dance also. So I'm like, you know, she said, Mom, can you please, you know, just install TikTok as well so we can, you know, like uh, chive and dance together. Uh -oh. I'm like, okay, it started there. 
Okay. And then all of a sudden, you know, followers are coming already here and there. I was doing the transitioning. Oh. <laughs> it's fun, you know, oh, like maraming, this platform. Marami really, natutuwa. Ang dami. It's, diba? really, it's really nice. It's more like, ano, nakilala si Crystal, mga lifestyle, ayan yes. yung pamilya niya. Yeah. Tapos napunta na nga sa wellness. May kaya sila. Pero walang pinipili kasi ang sakit eh. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true, right? That's I mean, no matter true. what status you have in life, kung tatamaan ka talaga, tatamaan ka. Everybody will age. Everybody, you know, will get an illness. But, you know, parang for us kasi, the stem cell therapy can at least make your life better. We, we, we can make our life, you know, more quality life. With Villa Medica, so that's why you know, like it's parang it's really important, talaga. I, me, it started, Corina, when um, just just to tell you um, why I actually brought E W Villa Medica here. Pero may kwento kung bakit. Oh, perfect life, perfect itsura, hindi ba? Pero lahat tayo may pinagdadaanan. Oo naman. O ikwento mo naman, bakit ka nagpunta sa Villa Medica sa Germany noon? So when I went to Germany and I met one of my partners, uh, Bobby, uh, the Thailander, um, that time, it's because I have two kids already. Now I have three. and um, But during that time, you know, sometimes when you give birth, multiple pregnancies so sometimes madaming nakakaalam diyan for sure na mga mommies the fatigue and you know like sometimes the energy parang medyo bumabagal and also you gain weight so much that you know na parang kahit na ano parang pinapa feeling mo pinapabagal yung metabolism mo ang dami mong ano mga ganyan na haka-haka di ba but you know like pero even, nararamdaman mo talaga yeah 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 that your energy is just slowing down na parang ganon so i said It can't be, you know, na parang I'll be like this, you know, forever. And um, during that time also, because hereditary, my mom was diabetic. So uh, I was borderline also of diabetes. So parang lahat na yan na ganon, nag, uh, sama -sama. nagsama sama And then I get to know about EW Villa Medica. So I went there um, with a husband and, you know, like when we went there, Siyempre, parang very skeptical ka pa at first, right? Uh, is it gonna work, you know, like with all this, um, F the fresh cell therapy and all this. But right after the, the transplantation of the cell therapy, I felt rejuvenated. Ganyan it din was feeling ko iba, when I did it. Right? Yes. Iba oh, talaga. Oh, oh. I'm, you know, like... And then when I did, like, two months... Two months, three months after I had my laboratory, Corina, it was gone. My my diabetes, you know, like na parang I thought my endocrinologist will be my best friend forever, but she knows, you know, like doctor, if you're watching. But you know, it was it was gone. My my I was about to be type two, but then nawala talaga siya totally after three months. So nagulat ang doctor mo. Definitely. So napakalaki ng naging beneficio sa yo. Yes. Na pati doctor mo nagulat, <laughs> de ba? Okay, hindi na natuloy yung daya masamang kaso ng diabetes, yes. bigla. So, ano ngayon na nag-i-efecto sa'yo? She now bring clients to us, ha? Oh, really? <laughs> yun ang sinasabi ko. Pati ang mga doktor talaga, <laughs> recommend. They don't, they, they're not against stem cell. Yeah. ba? Diba? Yeah, no, Kasi pati yung kapatid ko eh, oh, na oh. nagdadialysis pa yon, also the diabetic, talagang we uh, had to ask for permission from his doctors And pinayagan siya. Thank and you God. wanted to spread the word. Yeah, definitely. Oh. I want EW Villa Medica to be closer to Filipino families as much as possible. That's our target talaga. Because, so yun talaga ang dahilan kung bakit naisip mong dali ng yes. Villa Medica sa I mean, Pilipinas. if it happened to me, the result was good. May iba kasi na ano, may ibang mga kapansanan, Corina, that they cannot afford to travel anymore. I was thinking before, if I bring EW Villa Medica here, You know, lahat mas magiging ano, mas magiging accessible ang FCT, ang stem cell therapy for all of us. Sabi nila, ang pina, isa sa pinakamataas nilang client count are Filipinos who fly all the way to Germany. 70%. percent. Bakit? It, you know, uh, well, you know, aside from the that that's you know on the business side, right? But when when I was talking to Bobby that time and uh, he was mentioning all the names and they're like all Filipinos, oh. and I said. 
Come on, why not bring, you know, like uh, Villa Medica in Philippines when it was 70% mostly or Filipino? Correct, kasi so, now that Villa Medica is in the Philippines, hindi ka na kailangan gumastos ng travel at lipad. Oh, nakalibre na, di ba? Yeah, hindi ka, nali, ka nalilipad, di ka na... No kasi syempre, pagka nag-Europe ka, tuloy-tuloy ng gastos. So, <laughs> Pag-tour ka na rin, no? shopping ka na rin, wag na, di ba? So, mas napamura. And must naging accessible. Yes, definitely. Ayun. You're Oka. not, you know, with you're just with a family anytime, you know, you're just here. We only require two to three days. So mula Thailand, eto na. Nahirapan ba kayo bringing in and introducing the idea of stem cells sa mga Pilipino? There is pressure, um, Karina, here in the Philippines. What, you know, it's it, not really, you know, like pressure. When I say pressure, it's just that... You know, like once you say stem cell, kasi, there is a little bit lack of knowledge, you know, like for Filipinos here. When you say stem cell, um, parang feeling nila also, it's just totally, oh, magbumuka akong bata. It's, it's not totally like that. For, for all of us Filipinos, stem cell is actually um, treating ill, you know, like chronic diseases as well. From anti aging, we do that to treating chronic disease. Mahal daw ang stem cell. Uh -huh. Kaya nyo pa rin yun. Hindi naman siya sobrang sobra so Ako, kung bibili rin lang naman ako ng kotse, at hindi pa yung high-end na kotse, <laughs> ito na lang ang gagasusan ko. Stem cell na lang para sa aking kalusugan. Pero what about the middle class? Halimbawa, nag opisina lang ako, may maliit lang ako negosyo, can I afford stem cell? Pag sinabing stem cell, feeling mahal agad. But you know, in, in EW Villa Medica, we made it a point na ma-afford ma din ng mga Pilipino talaga. A package normally consists of nine organ cells. So, kung ano lang yun talagang kailangan ng pasyente, like if we, for, for say, like if we have like, um, like a diabetes, we only give you the pancreas organ cell because we do it very specifically. So, kung ano lang yung targeted natin, kung ano yung gusto natin i-address, that's what we give. I so, see. that's why, in a way, it's more affordable. And plus, um, we are also, you know, like offering installment, deferred payments already. Yan ang magandang pakinggan, yung gives. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi Sabi ba? Sabi sa lahat yon. Yes. Hindi lang stem cell. Meron kayong immunotherapy. What are the services? Immunotherapy is for to boost your immune system, especially after COVID, you know, like talagang madaming, uh, madami are still having this long COVID na tinatawag, so parang yung feeling mo na parang you're still coughing, matagal na coughing, and all that. So we boost your immune system. Through this, we have biohormonal therapy, we have rasha that can make your stress, if you're fatigued, um, if you're having problems of conceiving, we also do that. If you're oh. having problems with sleeping, we also fix that there. Madami actually, Kore, madami kasi talaga. Kasi mamaya, Wag kayong aalis kasi ito tour natin yung clinic nila. Yes. And you'll see all of these uh, rooms na iba-iba ang ginagawa nilang therapy. Ay, gustong right. gusto ko yung ano, yung sa sleep. Oh yes, Ito right. Biohormonal. How's your sleep now? After you know, like much the better. I have to come here more often, <laughs> and then the uh, hyperbaric oxygen Correct. chamber is also. Kung gusto mo magpapayat, meron din. Yes. Yes. So yes. So there's so many things. So. How is it so far? Okay naman ang response dito sa Pilipinas. Oh, response is actually unexpected, Karina. The outcome of bringing EW Villa Medica in the Philippines, it's just, you know, like, it's, it's unexpected. Wow. It's, you know, it's, uh, thank you. Thank I think ang pinaka-importante, marami kayong natutulungang oh. tao. You know, right? like, meron kasi mga, ano, mga cases talaga, yung hopeless case na parang, feeling mo, there, there are families na talagang pumupunta, crying, all the family na parang, this is our last resort, you know, I hope you can help. And knowing that, you know, like parang nakakatulong ka, we, we yun palang it, it feels, you know, like parang it's priceless. Wow. It's priceless. Congratulations and Thank cheers. Thank you. Cheers to our cheers coffee. Cheers to our <laughs> coffee and to our stem cell. Yay. Villa Medica, thank you thank for being you very in the Philippines. Much. Thank you so much.
In this narrative of legacy and continuity, a son endeavors to preserve the core values instilled by his parents. Join us here at Open for Business as we delve into the story of Steve James Mago, the enterprising young leader whose passion for business and steadfast dedication to his family legacy helped bring their business to new heights. You know, naman in business, you really have to have a sustainable growth. Mm -hmm. You cannot grow fast and mm -hmm. then you're paying your expenses more than what you are earning mm -hmm. sa revenue. So we have to be smart and wise as well. That's also one advantage of being in a company in the same industry for a long time because you become an expert in doing your craft. Open for business with Cesar Vallejos, Sunday, 9 p.m. Dear Boss Leng, ako nga po pala si Daryl at isa akong barbero. Diskubre daw ng mga eksperto na hindi daw talaga lumpoy si Apolinario Mabini. Eh, tago naman na ako nun siya mga ganyang kachismis. Paano magiging kachismis? May video nga! Kulit mo oh. nga! 100% organic. Gamot para sa lahat ng sakit. <laughs> Duda ako din sa gamot na yan. Meron ko babagsak na asteroid. Ay, nako, maraming ganyan. Chop, chop, haircut. <laughs> nako. Love, Boss Leng, and Tali. Tuwing linggo, alas 6 ng gabi, dito lang sa Net25. This is Fast Interrogation with Tito Guru. Love life or career. And Bobby Chi is in the house! Hi! Hello, Bobby! Hi, Hi Bobby! Bobby Chia is the owner and CEO of EW Villa Medica, which means um, European Wellness, yes, yes. Uh, from Bangkok, Thailand. Yes. I remember that I met you in Germany, and that was when I had my very first stem cell implantation. And I remember leaving so happy. 2017. 2017? Yes. Wow, that was a while ago. Yes. So now I've had my second implantation already about two months ago. Right. And it's the same effect on my body. But before that, you were running the Germany clinic for a while. Yes. And then I met you again in your uh, clinic in Thailand. Yes. And which is still operational today. Yes, yes. Para lang sa kalaman po ninyo, ano po, kung paano nagsimula ang Villa Medica sa Europe. How did it start in Europe? It started in 1931 in, in Switzerland, where the, uh, the Dr. Paul Nihans uh, was treating a thyroid patient who's dying. So he don't know what to do with, with her, so he took out the sheep glands and meshed it up and injecting to her. Not only did she recover, but she become younger and younger and she... So this was, this was patient the number one? Patient number one. Patient number one, thyroid, thyroid problem. Problem, yes. Ever since this first success, fresh stem cells now became um, widespread in Europe. Yes. Why Germany? Why? Well, because Germany have a bigger population than Switzerland. Mm. So a lot of doctors who learn of this treatment, fly over to Paul Nehans and learn how to do it and come bring back to Germany to treat the sick people. Right, right. So people who want to uh, have alternative medicine yes. uh, if they're sick yes. and for people who want to prevent yes. sickness and get younger. How does it work that you that you're, you become younger? I mean, your skin is the mirror of your, in, your inside internal organs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If your liver is not uh, filtering well, you have a very gloomy, not glowing face. So once we rejuvenate the liver, the kidney, and the heart, the heart grows the micro artery, then it helps you to show through your face. 
I see. And so, so you get younger. So people go there uh, to get younger. And, yeah, yeah. So no wonder when I went to um, Eden Coben, and uh, there was one whole wall with all of the past clients yes. over how many years is Villa Medica from the very beginning? It's been 55 or 58 years to today. 55 to 58 yes, years. To today. And the technology is even longer than that? Just since 1931. So no wonder there's a whole wall there of black and white Hollywood actors. Yes, yes. So who are the clientele? Oh, ito na, ito na ang mga cliente na nagpa stem cell therapy worldwide, right? Yes. So who, what are the examples? Hollywood actors. Any many rich and famous people all fly into Switzerland and la later because Germany opened up and then a lot of people also fly into Germany and we do, we start to do marketing to the Asian the market and to the celebrity, celebrities, the presidents, prime ministers. Presidents and prime ministers. Yes. How safe is the technology? Okay. I myself have been witnessing this for 23 years. Right. So I've seen it a lot. Right. And there's a lot of vetting before you become a candidate and tests, right? Yes. Okay. We, we have to check your, your blood and check everything. It's all done medically, professionally by doctors. So how did it happen that uh, from being owned and operated by the German doctors, here is this Asian a uh, businessman like Bobby Chia who suddenly is on top of operations of the Germany clinic. It's inspired by my mom who had ca cancer, right? Oh, your mom had and cancer? Can yes, and then we will find kill all over the world for her. Then I, I suddenly found this cl a clinic who's able to support her chemotherapy for her cancer. Oh, okay. You Normally you go chemo, chemo, you stop because your white blood cell is low. Then you go chemo, chemo, then you rest, and then you, you know the story after right. that. So your mother did stem cell therapy in between the chemo? You see, we are talking about integrative medicine. Mm -hmm. That means we integrative, both conventional and regenerative, alternative, holistic, whatever you call, you, you call it. So we were able to support her immune system to be able to receive the chemo cons consistently to just kill to today. I see. Okay, so it can actually, stem cell therapy can actually work with conventional medicine. Of course. Yes, especially with cancer and other graver illnesses. They're saying that once you have cancer, you can't do stem cell. We don't want to risk, if we have a choice, right, why take the cancer patient where they could die? or they would die any, anyway, and then we become the, the target point. But if we choose a specific organ like thymus, spleen, mesenchymal stem cell, these are the immune boosting stem cells. So if I have cancer today, I would use the cell, cell therapy, but under certain organ, under certain circumstances. Oh, okay. So targeted. Targeted. It has but to be targeted. If we organ. have a choice, we don't want the cancer patient because they will blame us. Mm -hmm. Easily mm -hmm. blame us. You set up your own clinic in Thailand. Yes. So how is it doing in Thailand? We are in the Intercontinental Hotel in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. Okay, this place is because Bangkok is now known as the medical hub of the world now. We have more than 1.2 million people coming to Thailand to do treatment. Mm. Of very sort. Bangkok was a net choice. It's my home. It's my hometown, and we prepared a patient to go to Germany, since you know a, a lot of treatment ha can be done in Thailand at the moment. So everything, all the services that can be found in Thailand, is it also found now here in the Philippines? Yes. Yes. Because the Philippines, surprisingly, is our biggest market. And who among the Filipinos are foremost uh, clients of Villa Medica? Few, few presidents, mm -hmm. like President Estrada. Arab Estrada. Yes. Even though Marcos flew Pawnee into the Philippines mm -hmm. to do this treatment. Former First Lady Imelda Marcos, you bring it in. Pawnee Hans bring it in mm -hmm. in 1970. Okay. That's All why right. Filipinos have some knowledge about it. Okay. And then you have uh, GMA. Former President Gloria Arroyo. Yeah. Among so many others like lesser-known politicians, 
um, celebrities of, of other countries of other countries also Hollywood actor Hollywood actors right and when they go how often do you need to do it some people come in just to fix their immediate problem like bone and joint because sometimes it's the muscle is uh, is the cartilage mm -hmm. so it's amazing that we can grow new cartilage right with this. right right and um, I suppose even athletes go to you. Yes, of course. What would you say to people who are still skeptical or scared of doing stem cell implantation? For me, myself, I've been doing this for 23 years. I see any bad case or dangerous case, I would not touch it with a 10-foot pole. Mm -hmm. Because I see, still see positive case more than negative case. Mm -hmm. And negative doesn't mean, it means that sometimes it doesn't show yet. Mm -hmm. or it, and each organ has its own life. Like our skin changes every 28 days. Right. Our heart every two years, our liver every nine years. Mm -hmm. We change our cells division. Mm -hmm. We get a new heart, new liver, new skin every certain period. So time. stem cell helps it along? It helps to regenerate what is damaged. But what is cut, we can't connect it back. Yung mga takot po dyan sa stem cell, ito na ang sinasabi ni Mr. Bobby Chia. It's the success rate, right? Yes, the success rate. And you have seen it yourself? Yes. Because I, I see lots of patients myself, and I witness them. This therapy has been around since 1931, so it's maybe 90 years now. I've been doing it myself for 23 years. I've seen lots of cases and I still see very, very positive uh, results from this and where people have no other choice, choices, mm -hmm. we can help them. In this narrative of legacy and continuity, a son endeavors to preserve the core values instilled by his parents. Join us here at Open for Business as we delve into the story of Steve James Mago, the enterprising young leader whose passion for business and steadfast dedication to his family legacy helped bring their business the new heights. You know, naman in business, you really have to have a sustainable growth. Mm -hmm. You cannot grow fast mm -hmm. and then you're paying your expenses more than what you are earning mm -hmm. sa revenue. So we have to be smart and wise as well. That's also one advantage of being in a company in the same industry for a long time because you become an expert in doing your craft. Open for Business with Cesar Vallejos. Sunday, 9 p.m. Ano nga ba talaga ang stem cell na ngayon ay umabot na ng Pilipinas sa wakas pero napakarami ng taon na namamayagpag sa Europa kahit sa Amerika at iba pang bahagi ng Asia na tinitingala na nakakatulong talaga sa kalusugan para maaring magamot o ang isang sakit o kaya ay nagpapabata ng itsura at ng buong katawan inside and out o kaya ay makapigil ng pagkakasakit ng katawan ng tao. Ayan, regenerative medicine ang tawag dyan. And the resident doctor, uh, regenerative physician, of Villa Medica in the Philippines is none other than Dr. Jose Paulo or Jolo Santos. Hi, Doc Jolo. Hi. Good day, Ms. Karina. Yes. Ano ba itong stem cell na sinasabi na, Uy, gusto ko rin yan. Gusto ko mabuhay ng matagal. Gusto kong gumaling. Ayokong magkasakit. Ang buong katawan kasi natin, binubuo ng maraming tinatawag nating cells. Kumbaga sa bahay, para itong mga hollow blocks. Ngayon, Itong mga uri ng hollow blocks ito, iba-iba yung kanilang mga functions o silbi. At isa sa mga hollow blocks ay ang ating stem cell. Ngayon, itong stem cell na ito, ang kanyang gawain ay palitan ang mga nasisira o mga nadadamage na mga cells din sa ating katawan. Kumbaga, parang sa kotse, ito ay, ang pinakatrabaho niya ay parang spare tire. Kapag ka pumutok ang gulong, siya ang papalit. N nagugulat kasi ako, Dok Jolo, pati ang mga atleta, na sinasabi natin, o oh, dapat sila ang pinakamalusog yes. sa lahat ng uri ng tao dahil sila talagang fit. 
nasisira din pala yung sales ang katawan dahil sobra ang gamit naman ng kanilang katawan. Agree. Tulad din ng uh, katawan natin, no? yung bahay, ang bahay, kapag ka lagi itong nagagamit, mas mabilis din siya silang naluluma. Mm -hmm. no? At ang bahay din naman, kapag ka hindi mo rin naman ginagamit, kahit anong gawin natin, maluluma at maluluma pa rin ito. Ayun! Kaya kailangan talaga maintenance. Yes. Pero sa bata, pwede din, ha? Opo. Yung ipinapanganak na talagang may diferensya, right? Opo. Okay. So, hindi porkit bata, hindi mo na kailangan ng regeneration ng stem cells mo. Okay. Pinakakilala na alternatibong paraan ng paggamot o kaya pagpalakas uh, ng katawan ulit. Tama. Para bumalik sa dati. Yes. Tama ba yun? Opo. Okay. Ngayon, ipaliwanag na natin yung stem cell therapy. Sa stem cell therapy, meron kaming tatlong klase na ginagamit po. Meron po kami tinatawag na embryonic stem cell therapy kung saan dito po ay nakukuha natin yung stem cells galing po sa placenta or sa umbilical cord po nung bata. Okay. Ngayon yung placenta po, no, ito po sa Tagalog yung inunan ng bata. Na ito po yung inilalabas din po ng nanay pagkatapos niya pong iluwal yung kanyang anak. Ang pinakahabol po kasi natin dito sa placenta stem cells ay ang tinatawag nating growth factors. Ah. Yung growth factors po kasi na yun, kapag po ang isang cell ay na-expose sa growth factors, lalo silang na-excite, lalo silang dumadami. Yun po yung aming madalas na ginagamit, no? yung ating uh, placenta stem cells, tinatawag po natin para po, mas ginagamit po namin for anti-aging, kapag po meron pong damage or sugat na hindi gumagaling, ang aming embryonic stem cells ang isa sa pang pinaka uh, magaling na aming ginagamit sa aming mga pasyente. Okay. So, kinukuha yung stem cell na yon at pagkatapos ibinabalik o may dinadaanan pa siyang proseso? Sa simula po, ay meron po kasi tayo mga tinatawag na screening process mula po doon sa inuna ng bata. May DNA analysis po yun. Kailangan safe. No? Ligtas po ito galing sa mga sakit na namamana. Okay? Tulad ng cancer. At uh, pagkatapos po nito ay inililinis po sila okay? at kinukulture at pinaparami. Pagkatapos po paramihin, doon na po natin pwedeng gamitin ito para sa stem cell therapy. Ayun. So pag dumami na, ayan na ituturok na. So sino-sino um, naman ang mga kandidato para magpa-stem cell? Halimbawa, wala naman akong diferensya. Like when I did my first stem cell in Germany, uh, in Eden Coben, in 2017, Two years old pa lang po ako noon. <laughs> okay, pumunta ang aming programa doon and nagpa-stem cell ako kahit wala naman ako talagang sakit. Pwede rin yun. Opo, pwede rin naman. Mm. Natural po sa katawan ng tao na mabawasan ang kanilang stem cells. Nababawasan din po yung mga cells na pwede pong uh, mag-repair, magpagaling sa atin kapag tayo ay nagkaroon ng karamdaman. Ngayon, kaya mapapansin nyo po, pag po kayo nagpa-stem cell therapy, mas mabilis kung sakaling magkasakit kayo, mas mabilis kayong gumaling. Kung kayo po ay may nakakaramdam na ng uh, pangihina, dulot ng sa edad na po sabihin na natin, eh mas lalo kayong lumalakas. Sino pa ang mga kandidato yung mga medyo nagkakaedad na? Ang number one po talagang makikinabang ay mga pasyente o mga tao pong naturally nababawasan ng stem cells. At ito po ay habang nagkakaedad po tayo. Pag sabi kasi nating aging, uh, Okay, World Health Organization, youth kasi is up to 40 years old. Youth is up to 40? Yes. Pasok na tayo na. No? So, that's In 40, that's youth. Oh, oh, oh. Kapag ka ipinanganak ka, that's day zero. Then day one, two, three years, months, years, then you're already in the process of aging. Right. Okay. okay. So, habang tayo po ay nagkakaedad, yung natural stem cells po natin ay nababawasan na. Okay. In fact, hindi po ito a uh, straight line na bumababa. As in, deep down po yan. Wow. Okay. Kaya, Oo. parami po tayong nararamdaman habang tayo nagka... In fact, at the age of 28, agad mo nang makikita ang early signs of aging. 28? 28. Nakakalungkot naman yan. <laughs> <laughs> Alimbawa, may nagtanong sa akin, Corina, 70 na ako. Pwede pa ba akong humabol dyan? Pagdating po sa 70, kumpara po natin sa isang sanggol na punong-puno ng stem cell, eh talagang kakapiranggot na lang po talaga yung kanilang stem cells. At pinaka the best at makikinabang po talaga yung talaga nagkukulang ng stem cells sa kanilang mga katawan. Pagka ako ay may malubhang sakit na, pwede pa rin. Opo. Pwede pa. But what would your uh, protocol be 
if they are, say, under chemotherapy or under some kind of other um, uh, traditional protocol? Pagdating po sa chemotherapy, malamang po, marami pong cells na nasira na. Dahil din po, no, inaatake kasi ng chemotherapy both the normal and the abnormal cells. May ingat po kami pagdating po sa pagbibigay ng stem cell sa mga tao pong may cancer. Kanina, nasabi ko po dun sa growth factors. Na pag ang isang cell ay na-expose sa growth factors na bigay ng stem cell, sila po ay natutuwa. Sila ay dumadami. Kung ang isang cancer at meron siyang tinatawag naming unresolved cancer process at na-expose siya sa growth factors dulot ng stem cell, ano pwede mangyari? Baka dumami ang cancer cells. Tama. Exactly. Right. Okay. So, so pag kami cancer, iba ang ino-offer ng Villa Medica, right? Yes po. Halimbawa, ang isa ko pong pasyente ay mayroong brain tumor. Maaaring bigyan ko po siya lahat ng uri ng stem cell. Sa iba-ibang organs. Sa iba-ibang organs, pero hindi ko po siya pwedeng bigyan ng stem cell na tatarget sa kanyang brain. Kasi doon po yung stem cell na yun, doon siya magbibigay ng tinatawag nating growth factors. At yung tumor na yun, kapag ka na-expose sa growth factors, talo siyang lalaki. So in your experience, when you do this, if it's targeted, hindi naman apektado talaga yung cancer sa, sa, sa halimbawa, tumor sa utak. Ganun? Yes, opo. Oo, oo. And also, hindi lumulubha. Hindi po. Oo, oo. Hindi po. So sa amin po, yung pasyente po, mas lalo siyang mas masigla. Okay? Nababawasan yung mga kirot niya sa katawan. Okay? Pero hindi namin po ito ginagamit pag uh, ito po ay stage 4 cancer already. Ah, okay. Kasi kumalat na po ito, hindi Alright. natin alam kung, kung anong uh, pwede pa natin uh, klase ng stem cell na pwedeng ibigay. Right. Iba po yung treatment na aming ino-offer pag po mm. cancer or stage 4 cancer na po. Ang And from what I know, because I've done research also, you have had success in the treatment of treatment of cancer when all hope is lost, they just want to do alter alternative yes. or a combination, immunotherapy, Opo, tama, ang inyong in-offer sa late-stage cancer. Yes, tama And po you've had reversals. Opo. Merong mga kaso ng reversal. Hindi lahat. Depende yan sa tanggap ng katawan. Opo. Ayun, okay. Kasi marami pa, no? We're just concentrating on stem cell, pero may iba pa silang mga services and products dito sa... Villa Medica. Okay, we talked about cancer, aging. What about autism? Sa panggagamot ng autism, sa pamamagitan ng stem cell therapy, ginagawa po natin ito hindi po dahil damage yung kanilang cells sa brain. Ginagawa po natin ito kasi gusto po natin lagyan ng growth factors yung kanilang brain. Ngayon, sa ganung paparaan, yung kanilang brain cells na expose sa growth factors, so mas lalo silang na excite at lalo silang dumadami. Therefore, lalo tayo nagkakaroon ng growth. Kapag po meron tayong growth sa brain tissue, doon natin makikita yung development doon sa bata. Yun Ayun. po yung ating theory pagdating po sa panggaga, panggamit ng stem cell therapy sa taong may autism. Pero from uh, statistics and from history, meron talagang magandang epekto sa autism lalo na pagkabata pa nagsimula ang stem cell therapy. Yes, opo. Meron po kaming mga company, uh, Villa Medica's data when it comes to success rates. The success rates are measured in three. Yung aming pong cognition or the learning, the speech, and the behavioral patterns. Ngayon po, base po sa aming pong datos, uh, we have a 90% success rate provided that the stem cells are given or ibigay po mula pitong taon Pababa. Pero ibig bang sabihin kapag 12 years old eh, hindi na ako susubo? Pwede pa rin po. In fact, marami rin po kaming mga pasyente na nabigyan ng stem cell therapy, mga autism, na maganda ang naging improvement. Meron po kami dito, 12 anyos, hindi nakakapagsalita. Mula umpisa. Okay? Mula na pinanganak hanggang ngawa lang ang kaya po ng bata. Pero after stem cell therapy, in just a matter of 3 months, nagulat po yung mga magulang. Biglang nakakapagsalita na, nakakapag-express siya kung anong gusto niya, natuturo niya na kung anong, anong bagay yung gusto niya. So, ano pang mga sakit? Actually, kahit na anong klaseng sakit, pwedeng matarget and depende sa tanggap ng katawan. Uh, meron po tayong mga tinatawag na mga degenerative diseases. Okay. Tulad po ng osteoarthritis. No? Ito po yung dahil dulot nga po ng wear and tear ng katawan. Basta po, may kaugnayan sa damage sa katawan. 
pwede po nating i-apply ang stem cell therapy. Magkonsulta muna, and then tulad ng pinagdaanan ko, pumunta ako kay Doc Jolo, pinag-usapan namin, oh, hindi ako masyadong makatulog. Meron silang parang, ano ba yung makina na yun na pang sleep Opo. therapy, di ba? Yes, bio parang sleep wave. The, the bio, bio sleep, sleep wave, wave na tumutulo, tatanungin niya, oh, nananak kita bang makasukasuan mo? Siyempre, hindi ko aaminin. Pero maraming babae, ganun, kasi osteoarthritis. Uh, o kaya osteoporosis yes. ang kanilang problema, right? So, konsulta muna, and then blood test, papadala sa Germany ang resulta, Opo. and then pinag-aaralan din sa Germany ang magiging protocol. Tama po. So, yung ginawa ko, nine organ, right? Nine organs po. Ano yung beneficyo ng targeted? Yung talagang ano, yung para sa puso, puso, yung para sa kidney, gano'n. Ano ang beneficyo nun? Okay. Pag po kasi targeted tayo, yung ating mga organs na gusto lamang na pasiglahin, kung halimbawa, ang problema po natin ay puso lang, pwede po namin kayo bigyan ng stem cell at yun lang, wala na tayong ibang maapektuhan ng growth factors. Ngayon, nakafocus doon. Nakafocus po tayo. Oo. May iba-ibang uri, no? may otologus. Opo. Lahat po ng stem cell na galing po sa sarili nating katawan ay tinatawag nating otologus stem cells. Ang pinaka-purest, purest form ng stem cells ay makikita po sa ating bone marrow o bulalo. Ito, um, bone marrow transplant lang po yung proven nating stem cell therapy na ginagamit talaga for cancer. Okay. Ngayon, uh, marami rin po tayong stem cells sa pwedeng pagkuha na meron din po sa taba. Okay. In fact, meron din pong stem cells ang ating balat at ang ating atay. Kaya nga po of all the organs, it's the liver, the only internal organ that can regenerate itself. Parang ang laki talaga ng epekto pag cartilage, bone, di ba? And autism. No? For example, R.C. Munoz. Pumunta rin sa Villa Medica. What is the experience of RC? Uh, previously, nagkaroon po kasi siya ng uh, tear or damage po sa kanyang tuhod. Ngayon, pagkabigay po namin ng otologo stem cells, mas, mara, mas malayo na yung kanyang kayang ilakad ulit. Okay? Mm. Kasi I think Miss uh, RC Munoz is a very athletic woman. Mm. No? More into sports and very uh, active po siya. Ngayon, mas, mas natotolerate niya na po yung kanyang mga activities at mas lalo niyang nagagawa yung mga gusto pa niyang gawin within the day. Ang laki ng nagagawa, talagang uh, malinaw yata yung nangyari kay Rocket. Opo. You know, this uh, four-year-old child, beautiful daughter of Troy Montero and Aubrey Amen. Miles. So, anong pinakamahirap na part ng pagiging parent to a child like that? Para sa amin, yung talagang mahirap na part this moment is yung communication. Hindi pa siya ganun uh, kaya makipag-communicate kung ano yung gusto niya. Even sa amin, hindi niya naintindihan kung ano yung gusto namin. So, siguro words, okay siya. She can copy. She can memorize. Somehow this year, na-discover namin, okay, you can talk. So, let's work on your words. Pero communication, sasabihin ko, do you wanna eat? Sabi na, gaganyan lang siya. Pero yung talagang conversation na, okay, you know, we want to go here, we want to go here, and That's new. Like asking, are you thirsty? Do you want water, milk? And then she'll say one of the two. So... Okay. Parang tang tatangu lang siya. Oh. But, so sabihin niya, milk, ganun lang. But it's also come to a point of desperation, I suppose, many times. Kailan nangyayari yun? Every morning, kailangan pare-pareho. Pag may naiba, para mag-reset siya. So para sa amin, um, yung starting niya, kailangan ko ano yung routine niya, susunod kami. Parang yung routine namin, wala na. Ayun, ganun. So yung, sa kanya talaga yung, yung desperation namin na, oh, let's give up what we're gonna do today kapag medyo may tantrum siya. It's, That's difficult. It's definitely It's difficult. not your typical normal day, ganyan. Wala kaming, sa buhay namin dalawa, wala kaming yung routine na. Before may routine kami. But we're okay. We're, mm. we're good naman. Hindi yung... Sad kami, hindi yung gano'n. Pero sa kanya talaga, dinedicate na namin yung, okay, kung anong routine niya, let's just go with the flow, kung ano siya. Nung nalaman niyo na ganito na pala ang sitwasyon, how did it hit you? Were you hopeless? Were you hopeful? We were doing our research on our own. I think when we found out officially, both of us cried. Uh, of course, we both cried because it was really... That's it. It's official from the expert, from the doctor. How did you come about stem cell? 
Well, we've heard about it through online and just through, you know, just through news and everything. But we just thought that it was something unattainable. I heard they're doing stem cell with um, therapy with um, kids with autism. Someone would mention, have you, have you looked into it? And we kind of, not blew it off, but kind of said, well, we're dealing with this right now and there's therapy and other things and we're talking to another doctor at this moment. So I just thought that it would never be possible. Para ang hirap maabot, ano? Oh. Dati. Mm. Dati. Parang going to the moon. Ganun. Parang going like, to the moon. <laughs> yes. Oh. Don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Who does it? Yeah. How much? Ang mahal daw. Pwede ba sabi? Di ba parang gano'n? Parang it's impossible before. Parang really? May ganon? Saan? On earth mo makuha yun, di ba? Until now, we're still researching it. Ano bang may mga ibang kids ba na ganito? Kung um, also did the therapy, mm -hmm. stem cell therapy. So, we're still curious. Kahit na nandito kami today, we still want to learn more. Right. Ano ang na-research nyo about the effect, the good effects of stem cell on autism? I guess the most positive benefit from it is that it will lessen the characteristics of autism. So that's major, that's, that's a big thing because if, if basically, uh, let's say in Rocket's case, her brain, she's missing uh, roadmaps that are leading to other parts of her brain. So that her brain is not communicating like ours. The stem cell, what we research is that it will come in and, and mimic or rebuild these roadmaps so that she can connect to her speech and connect to her behavior and connect to her learning. And then we heard even the numbers saying that it is 90% um, um, success rate. All these yep. numbers were like, wait a minute, this yeah. is amazing. Mostly talaga positive. Like, yeah, yeah. Walang, even if there is a, a negative with someone, uh, they never really experienced it. So how are you gonna really believe in someone that they never tried it? And we're so happy because kala namin major surgery to. Kala namin bubuksan siya, ay mga ganyan. But I'm like, oh, it's parang injectable. And then she started talking clearly. Yung words nga mas malinaw na. Oh, diba? oh, a confidence in her now. Mm -hmm. Very happy kami dun palang. And then yung were words na ngayon, surprise kami kasi di namin na expect talaga. Your witness to the wonders that stem cell pala yeah. can yes. do for autism. Yes, we never expected na span of three months palang talaga. Yung talagang yung ano niya, yung improvement niya from the first two years, wala. Yung parang lahat binigay dun sa after ng stem cell in three months. It's, it's just amazing. for us, yeah, super amazing. Impressed kami na. Such joy for the parents. I know, yeah. my oh, smile. Oh, Alam lang nila yung feeling na yeah. gano. What would you recommend to parents of other children like Rocket? I think therapy is a must. I would say that you should call in here to. EW Villa Medica, because I know everyone will say, um, that's great, all the positive feedback. How much? If there is something that you could do for one of your family members, and yes, there's a price tag on it, wouldn't you try your best to do that? For my kids, for her, I would sell the shirt off my back in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, no questions asked. The rocket po, dinala po siya sa akin for stem cell therapy. And then, daily po at meron naman pong update. Kundi man po daily, weekly, may update po si na Sir Troy at si Ma'am Aubrey sa kanilang Rocket Awareness page, yung FB page. Uh, recently, nagbigay po na magandang feedback yung kanyang teacher. Nagulat po yung teacher dahil nakakapagsulat na po sa pamamagitan ng tatlong daliri gamit. Kasi usually daw po ang mga bata, ang gamit po buong kamay, no? Magsusulat yan ng... Uh, buong kamay. Pero si Rocket, na-try na pong maka magsimula magsulat sa pamamagitan ng tatlong daliri. Tatlong daliri, meron din po siyang tatlong titik na, na nasusulat. Letter N, O, at ang letter P. Oh, wow! That's amazing. Yeah. Kasi nung huli kong kasama si Rocket, dito rin sa Corina interviews, wala pa siya niyan. Okay. Oo, and then she underwent. So, nagkaroon siya ng implantation talaga. Oh, meron din po siyang hyperbaric uh, oxygen. Tinaray din po namin siyang uh, i-biosleep wave or, uh, at saka ang kanyang rasha or sound therapy. Wow! Okay. The hyperbaric oxygen chamber, yun naman ang nagbibigay ng oxygen sa buong katawan, yes, right? Yes, opo. Yung negosyanteng magandang babae, <laughs> si Anne Murphy. Okay. 
batang bata pa, right? At saka uh, hindi mo iisipin na kailangan niya niyan. Ano ang naging epekto naman sa kanya? Sa pamamagitan ng stem cell therapy, na balance natin yung kanyang mga hormones, mas lalo siya naging emotionally stable, mas masaya siya. Ipakiramdam po siyang mas kaya niyang suungin pa ang mas maraming stress sa buhay. Ayun, huwag naman! <laughs> Iwasan na lang yung stress para mas beauty, di ba? Miss Jinky Pacquiao, ayan. Okay, so si Jinky, ano naman ang naging epekto sa kanya? Parang rejuvenation yata yung Opo. kay Jinky, no? Okay. Kay Ma'am Jinky naman po, ang pinaka-address niya po is, again, is the energy and of course, yung kanya pong Kutis. Yung skin. Opo. Parang nga daw marmol. Opo. Sabi niya, Corina, parang marmol lang aking kutis ngayon, di ba? So, skin, overall rejuvenation Opo. yung kay Jinky Pacquiao. Si Rufa Gutierrez. Si Ma'am Rufa naman po, ang pinaka-target natin is rejuvenation din po siya. Pero sa ibang klaseng stem cell naman po ang uh, kanyang tinaray. Ngayon, ang epekto naman po sa kanya is within a month, no, mas lalo raw po naging banat yung kanyang pong kutis. Okay? at mas uh, pumayat daw po siya. Ayun. Eh kasi ito naman mga ito, walang mga sakit talaga, okay. right? Bakit sa palagay mo ang tao kailangan magbukas na ang isipan sa stem cell therapy? And how safe is it? Ang ating stem cell therapy, kilala po kasi siya dahil halos wala pong side effect na ating nakikita. There would be one out of 62,000 patients na nabigyan ng stem cell therapy na nagkaroon lamang ng mild allergic reaction na nag-present with rashes, itchiness, yun lamang po. Mm-mm. Okay? At it can be easily reversed through your antihistamines na oral. Right. Okay? Ang stem cell therapy ay adjunct or support lamang sa mga existing po natin mga therapies o gamot na ibinibigay po ng ating mga conventional doctors. Ang mga gamot po kasi natin, yung ating traditional medicines, it passes by the our liver and our kidney for elimination. At yun po yung nagiging basihan natin ng safety ng ating mga araw-araw na iniinom na gamot, supplements, vitamins, etc. Ang ating stem cell therapy, hindi po siya dumadaan doon. Ito po ay mga buhay na cells. Hindi po yan ma-eliminate at magkukos ng damage sa ating liver at sa ating kidneys. So, bakit sila dapat sumubo? Ang ating katawan, naturally, unti-unti po yung mababawasan ng stem cell mababawasan ng mga cells na pang-repair ng ating katawan. Sino ba naman sa atin ang hindi magkakaedad at hindi tatanda at hindi magkakasakit? Ngayon, sa pamamagitan ng stem cell, pwede namin kayong matulungan. Matulungan na mas lalo, yung maki, uh, mas lalo nating mapalakas yung ating katawan. Mm-hmm. Kung kayo po ay may mga sakit, pwede natin kayong bigyan ng solusyon sa inyong mga karamdaman. Kung gusto yung humaba ang buhay, syempre tayong lahat eh, may mga anak, apo, di ba? At marami pang gagawin okay. sa buhay. Tsaka iwas sakit na rin. Ako, yes. that's why I did it, hindi ba? Palagi nyo, stem cell is here to stay. Stem cell is definitely here to stay because of uh, the advancements in discoveries of medicine. In fact, ang daming po ngayon existing na research because alam po abroad, yung potential ng stem cell therapy sa panggagamot ng iba't ibang uri ng sakit, lalo yung mga sakit na alam natin wala pang nag exist na mga gamot para sa kanila. Ito ho ang game show na kailangan handa kang lumabas sa isip at sa salita at sa gawa dahil pag meron ka niyan, jack! Nasa jackpot na ang kaaabante! Please welcome our Tara Gamers na Dakilang Extra! Naman kung makakasama ko kayo before, kaya lang nagkataon, may shooting Alam ako. Ko, kinlaim ko na, may susunod pa! And this is the susunod ko! Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> kung mayroong 60 minutes sa isang oras, Ilang minuto naman meron sa isang linggo. Ano nangyayari? Wait, say, bias ko. Eh, isip pa rin baliso mo eh. And this is Tara Game! Level up! Dear Boss Len, ako nga po pala si Daryl at isa akong barbero. Diskubre daw ng mga eksperto na hindi daw talaga doon po si Apolinario Mabini. Eh, saan mo naman nakulong siya mga ganyang chismis? Paano maging chismis? May video nga! Kulit mo nga! 100% organic. Gamot para sa lahat ng 
Love, Boss Lang, and Tali. Tuwing linggo, alas 6 ng gabi, dito lang sa Net25. Hey, I'm short. Hey, I'm Hey, I'm short. 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 At tulad ng ating mga napag-usapan dito sa EW Villa Medica, maraming iba't ibang klaseng mga therapies, hindi lamang basta fresh frozen stem cell. Maraming mga serbisyo, maraming mga produkto para sa iba't ibang mga pinagdadaanan o nararamdaman. The natural, scientific, and safe way na mga doktor mismo ang gumagawa para sa inyo. So, let's take a tour of EW Villa Medica here in Manila. First stop is the diagnostics room. Tama, Karen? Yes, Ma'am Karina. This is where it all starts. And this is the MAMO Thermoscan. Uh, this is a non-invasive, painless procedure of detecting the early signs of breast diseases. At ito naman, second stop is... Anong tawag dito? The consultation room. The consultation room at may doktor na doon sa loob. So here, the consult room. Ang mga tao po na pumupunta dito, nagpapakonsult, gusto i-address yung mga particular na sakit na gusto nilang ipakonsult sa amin. So we usually ask them no, to have yung complete executive uh, checkup, such as yung mga blood workup, to rule out any um, cancer pathology. So yun yung mga kailangan nating makita and yung mga particular na sakit para makita, malaman namin kung ano yung mga kailangan i-recommend sa kanila ng mga stem cells and therapies. At hindi lang wellness, may pampaganda pa. Tawag dito? Aesthetic room. Aesthetics room. Ayan na, lahat ng gagawin para sa ikagaganda. Ginagamit namin ng machine na ito para sa facial, uh, sa signature aqua glow facial. Ginagamit namin ng iba't ibang klase ng serum galing sa Germany. Ginagamit ang facial para mawala ang mikrobyo at mga dumi sa mukha ng tao. And with Doc Jolo, o oh, eto na ang mga mas seryoso talagang mga lugar. Ano naman ito? So, ito po yung aming laboratory. Dito po namin pinoprocess yung aming po mga stem cells. Ha? Nandiyan ang ginto? <laughs> Andito ang ginto ng kalusugan ng mga stem cell. Yes. Doc Jolo, hindi ko pa nasusubukan ito, ha? Ano yan? So, ang hyperthermia ay ang um, advanced sauna. So, gumagamit kami dito ng infrared technology. Wow! Ano kaya yon? So, ang hyperthermia machine, ang pinakalayunin nito ay pataasin yung temperatura ng katawan up to 40 degrees Celsius. Ngayon, sa pamamagitan ng pagtaas ng temperatura ng 40 degrees Celsius, napapataas natin yung white blood cells. Pag napataas natin yung white blood cells, nakayang labanan ng katawan ang infection, lalo na ang cancer. Also, pag napataas natin sa 40 degrees Celsius yung katawan, napapataas natin yung metabolism, makakatulong din ang hyperthermia sa pagpapababa ng asukal sa katawan kasi napapataas nito ang metabolism ng ating mga katawan. At pagdating naman sa ating bituka, nako sabi nga nila lahat ng sakit dito nang gagaling. Hindi ba? Ano ang solusyon? Itong kwartong ito. Anong meron dito, Doc? So, ito ang aming hydrocolon therapy kung saan ililinis natin ang inyong malaking bituka. So, ito ang aming colonics machine or tinatawag namin hydrocolon therapy. So, dito ginagawa natin, nililinis natin ang ating malaking bituka sa pamamagitan ng oxygenated water. Ngayon, kapag ka nalinis natin yung malaking bituka, so, ito yung tinatawag natin detoxification. Pagka nadetoxify natin, mas lalong nagiging masigla ang ating katawan at nagiging mas malusog tayo. Ay, pamilyar! 
<laughs> familiar ang lugar na to. Dito ako nag-selfie nung ako'y in-implant ng stem cell. Dito talaga lahat. Yes, ito po ang aming transplantation room. Okay. Opo. So dito po lahat nagaganap pagdating sa aming stem cell therapy. Ito ang pinaka-importanting kwarto dito sa klinik na ito. Dito namin ginagawa ang aming mga therapy para sa aming mga pasyente. So makikita ninyo, fully equipped kami pagdating sa aming mga therapies. Handa kaming i-monitor ang aming mga pasyente para sa kanilang safety and precautions. At alam nyo ba na mayroong paraan ng pagpapapayat na hindi nyo kailangang magpagod? <laughs> Totoo ba yun? I agree. So dito, dito yan? Yes, dito namin ginagawa yung aming visceral fat elimination sa pamamagitan ng aming VF eliminator. Makikita nyo ang tinatawag naming visceral fat eliminator. Ngayon, itong visceral fat eliminator, kaya nitong tunawi ng ating mga taba sa na nakabalot sa ating mga internal organs. Kaya niya nitong tumbasan ang pag-gym ng 30 minutes for 100 times. Sa amin, kaya namin tumbasan yon in one session. Ngayon, makikita natin yung mga resulta within one hour. Usually, sinusukat po namin yung kanilang mga waistline, okay, before and after. And lagi po kaming merong results in just a matter of one hour. One of my favorite spots dito sa Villa Medica is the hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Kita mo, alam kong pangalan. Di ba? Anong nangyayari sa loob? Papasok ka dyan, no? Tapos wala. Matulog ka lang dyan ng mga isang oras. What happens? So, dito, nagaganap yung ating hyper-oxygenation ng katawan. Meaning, mas malakas ang higup mo ng, at, and absorption ng oxygen sa buong sistema. Yes, I agree. Normally kasi, kung wala tayo sa hyperbaric chamber, ang oxygen na ating nilalanghap lang ay nasa 21%. Ngunit, kung nasa loob tayo, meron tayong nalalanghap na 100%. So dito, ginagamit natin ito para sa mga sugat na hindi gumagaling, para po sa mga pasyente po na na-stroke, para po sa general anti-aging, at also para po sa mga pasyente po na mayroong autism. Isa rin sa mga napagdaanan ko na ay yung nilalagay nilang ilaw dito. Ano bang nangyayari dyan sa ilaw dito? Dito yan sa room na yan eh. Ano ba yung nangyayari sa ilaw na yan? So, meron kami tinatawag na bio-sleep wave kung saan sinistimulate natin ang brain mo para either increase ang concentration or alertness at pagpapatulog. Ay, parang kailangan namin lahat yon. Pumila na kayo. Bio-sleep wave modulator kung saan sinistimulate nyo yung ating brain particularly yung ating delta waves ng brain upang tayo ay antukin at makure kung meron man tayong insomnia. Ngayon, ginagamit din namin ito sa iba't ibang settings. Pwede namin siyang gamitin para sa Parkinson's, sa dementia o sa pag-uulianin. Ginagamit din namin ito para sa aming mga pasyenteng merong autism para nasistimulate yung growth ng kanilang mga brain cells. Wow! What a tour! Para ka naman talagang... Grabe, mas maganda pa kaysa sa Germany, <laughs> di ba? Kompletong kompleto. And it's all here now. It's all here now in the Philippines. I can't believe it. And honestly, I tried almost everything here and everything really works. So congratulations, girls! Thank you so girls. much! Thank Alak you! Ang tulong ninyo sa mga Pilipino. Thank you very much. Oh, so, okay, so how does it all start? Oh, it's just, you know, like, just come. Do the consultation. The number is there, and it all starts from there, Karina. Yes, That's your easy. journey. Your journey to, to a better quality life. Life longer, <laughs> better, happier. Yeah. Okay. Yay to be the medical. Thanks, guys. Thank Bye. You.